And we're very pleased to join Sandy Alderson, Mets general manager in the booth. Uh, thanks for coming up, coming happy, by. Always happy to come and see you guys. <laughs> so um, let's start with happy thoughts. Uh, this offense right now, uh, without your best hitter, looks like it's really clicking. What uh, do you think this is sustainable? Do you enjoy what you're seeing right now? Well, let's start with your second question. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Uh, you know who knows whether anything is sustainable um, but what I like is that we're getting contributions up and down the lineup and that's that's a really good thing at this point and uh, not scoring exclusively with the home run but uh, you know again up and down the lineup as we saw last night so uh, that's a real plus uh, really kind of a funny six weeks of the season. Uh, <laughs> You know, the pitching was so supposed to be so good and of course we had the injuries but also uh, you know not pitching particularly well and the run production has picked up so we, we're fortunate. You know the injuries have dominated so much of the discussion through the early part of this season as seems was the case a lot of last year too and um, you addressed it the other day in Atlanta about the perception of the Mets regarding injuries which really predated your tenure as general manager and really hasn't changed a lot and um, as Gordon goes to first base hit by a pitch um, and I don't, I don't think when Met fans look at this they say the Mets have more injuries than every other team what they do say though and they think and the perception is that the Mets have not managed injuries well and you've had two circumstances early this season where um, players who appear to have minor injuries go back in the field and then suffer more substantial injuries and I guess my my first question would be when you look at those things do you say bad luck or do you say something is amiss with the process that we need to fix. No I don't say bad luck I think that's a way of sort of avoiding self analysis and, and uh, a review of exactly you know what is going on. Um, I'm not sure specifically of the two players you're referring to but because um, <laughs> there might be several but um, um, you know I think that first and foremost you know what you try to do is manage players through injuries you know the first instinct is not to put somebody on the disabled list the first instinct is to try to um, keep a player uh, active and performing and uh, Sometimes it requires a period of time to confirm a diagnosis. Sometimes it takes a period of time to know uh, the severity of the injury. Um, and so you work through that. Um, take somebody like um, uh, Cespedes. Uh, you know, Cespedes had similar injury last year. He had a, a hamstring. We tried to work through it, ultimately put him on the disabled list. He came back. Um, and we attempted to do the same thing this year. I don't think we created a more significant injury, but we certainly did not. There we go. <laughs> we certainly did not go straight to the uh, disabled list either. So, uh, you know, we try to work through the injuries. It's similar to. Um, what a doctor does you know when a doctor examines uh, a player or any individual any patient they don't go immediately to the most dramatic solution they try to work through on a more conservative basis and that's I think what we try to do too uh, I do think there's a history here but um, you know I think what something I tried to point out um, in a press conference today uh, we face these decisions every day mm. so it's not like they come up once in a while and we screw them up once in a while <laughs> because those are the only ones we uh, have to face no we, we do with the, we do this all the time and so um, it's usually when things go awry that uh, they come you know they, they come to everyone's attention and we have to deal with them uh, but, but generally speaking um, you know I've got I've got great confidence in our uh, staff and um, as I said also in the press conference today hey we always need to review what we're doing and uh, somebody asked me well if you were faced with a situation again where somebody refused to take an MRI what would you do um, and as I think about it now all I would say is hey I would certainly have this incident in mind uh, at the time made the decision but that doesn't mean that it would necessarily be uh, required so anyway 
fans reacting to the rain starting to fall a little bit harder. Um, well, clear that something up with us because I've, I've heard both sides of this, and, 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 and you probably are much more aware of what what rules in these cases. If you were to insist on a player taking an MRI, does he have to submit or does he have the right to say no? Well, I think. You know the lawyers would say regulation two of uh, uniform players contract. <laughs> That's not how player relations uh, should be. Uh, are are uh, uh, conducted on a daily basis. So, look, if I had thought that an MRI was necessary uh, within the you know, the medical. Um, uh, uh, conversation. I would have insisted on it. Um, it wasn't about okay. I insist on it. He he doesn't. He, he doesn't want to do it. Therefore, I'm going to back off. No, it really, it was a consideration of all of the different factors, and it really was not about. Um, you know, his situation and his and his uh, point of view versus mine. The Brad. Looked like he might have landed on his wrist, and he is in considerable pain. And Brian Chicklow, the assistant athletic trainer, on his way out, but Reyes trying to help out. Uh, that is uh, that's not a good sight. Guerrero, who's had so many leg issues to deal with both last year and early this, but this was his arm, his left arm, as he tried to dive for that ball. So to me, it seems like it's his thumb. Um, the way they're they're holding it only because I've, I've done the same injury myself when you dive sometimes you fall on that thumb it's called the gamekeeper's thumb it pushes it back but I mean we'll see well, that's say you hurt your thumb back in 87 right, same way. Go, go after Vince Coleman's bunt and, uh, well, this can't be fun to watch and, and you've had so much of this Sandy and, and here you are seeing this happen again he's a tough guy We'll see uh, when I get downstairs. See that hand crumple into the ground. If we keep it running a little bit, you'll see him fold it over, and that's the worst part. So Cabrera's going to have to come out of the game. Wilmer Flores will come in to play third base. Reyes will move over to short. Meanwhile, it looks like we're going to have a rain delay. 